Do you consider yourself to be a lucky person? Sometimes being in the right place at the right time is all it takes to really hit the jackpot. Today, we're talking about the most amazing discoveries that made people rich beyond their wildest dreams, all because they were extremely lucky. Yet miracles really do happen, and these people are the living proof. From ultra-rare antiques found in dusty old attics to ancient Roman palaces buried in the backyard, these are the 15 super lucky people who looked in the right places. Up from the archives and now here, just for us, the Declaration of Independence in great condition. Red Crystals Discovered YouTube sensation Crystal Hunter has had millions of views, all thanks to their epic discoveries of enormous precious gems. Buried beneath volcanic rock, the crystal hunter finds rare rocks and geodes in the wild, slowly chiseling away at them to reveal phenomenal crystals hidden in the dirt. Who knew that unearthing stunning gemstones could be so relaxing to watch? We could watch them work all day. But now it's time to move on to our next super lucky person who looked in the right place. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Masquerade Hair In 1979, artist Kit Williams published a book that would capture the imaginations of people all over the world. Masquerade was an illustrated story that had an intriguing secret. Whoever could solve its clues would be led to the secret location of an 18 karat gold hair inset with rubies, pearls, and moonstones, worth over $7,000. As you can imagine, this mysterious book was a huge success, selling over a million copies. In fact, the first edition of Masquerade sold out within just two days. One airline even sold a transatlantic Masquerade ticket bundle that included seats on a flight and your very own spade for digging up buried treasure. Yep, the hunt for the golden hair turned global, and many landowners were even forced to put up signs forbidding treasure hunters to dig on their property. The clues in Kit Williams' artwork eventually led a couple of scientists to discover the location of the hair three years later, but sadly, they were beaten to it by a quiet and camera-shy puzzle enthusiast named Ken Thomas, who found the jeweled trinket in Ampt Hill, England. However, not all was as it seems. It turns out that Thomas had actually discovered the secret location by speaking with one of Kit Kit Williams' old girlfriends, who remembered a picnic they had shared together at that exact spot many years before. That's right, Ken hadn't solved the mystery of Masquerade by obsessing over the book like millions of fans across the world. In fact, he wasn't even really called Ken Thomas. The golden hair was later sold at an auction, but the legacy of this epic treasure hunt still lives on. Declaration of Independence Found in England This rare parchment manuscript has turned the history world upside down, or should we say, across the pond. Yeah, a super rare manuscript of the U.S. Declaration of Independence was found in an archive in England and is only the second known document of its kind. Uncovered by two Harvard researchers, this dusty old piece of parchment may not look like much, but it's actually one of the most important artifacts in American history. The only other parchment manuscript like this one is locked up in the vaults of the National archives in Washington, D.C., and experts dated the English version back to the 1780s and concluded that it was probably produced in New York or Philadelphia. So how on earth did it end up thousands of miles away in England? Well, historians have no idea. They believe that it could have been commissioned by a man who later helped to draft the U.S. Constitution, and it may have been owned at some point by a British duke. Other than that, this Declaration of Independence is a total mystery. <laughs> The Massachusetts Family Treasure Every family has secrets, but it just so happened that this Massachusetts family had a secret that was worth tens of thousands of dollars. That's right, a rumor had been passed down through the generations of this family that a stash of money had been hidden somewhere in their home since the 1950s. But after searching high and low, they couldn't find the treasure trove anywhere. Desperate to find the money and sell their house, they hired Keith Weil, an expert in finding things that people have lost. Using a metal detector, Keith headed up to the attic and soon found some promising signs of a 
concealed object. He peered into a crack in the corner of the room using an endoscopic camera and hit the jackpot. He had found a secret keyhole that would lead to a tightly locked box hidden underneath the floorboards. With no key, they smashed open the chest and found bills dating back to 1934, 1935, and 1950 wrapped in $5,000 bundles in their original bank straps. In total, there was a whopping $46,000 stuffed inside the walls of their house, which would be the equivalent of around $420,000 back in the 1950s. Looks like granddad was a good saver. Who needs banks anyway? Mm -hmm. Woman finds priceless Renaissance masterpiece. This 90-year-old woman had a priceless work of art in her kitchen for decades, and she didn't even know it. Little did she know that this painting was hanging over a hot plate and was actually a rare Renaissance art piece dating back to the 13th century. This 700-year-old painting depicts a scene from the Jesus Christ Passion and Crucifixion and was painted by a famous Florentine painter, Cheney de Papo. The pensioner didn't even realize this hanging decoration could be valuable until she decided to sell her house and belongings, and it was spotted by an art expert. So how much was this ancient religious painting really worth? Well, despite the fact that it had been gathering dust in a French kitchen for years, the astonishing art piece sold for a breathtaking $26 million at auction, setting a world record for the amount of money paid for a medieval painting sold at auction. Wow, forget about buying a new house, you could buy a whole mansion with that much cash. <laughs> ancient Chinese vase hidden in attic. This 18th century Chinese vase had been buried in a shoebox for decades, and its owners had no idea just how valuable it really was. Discovered in an attic in France, this extremely rare piece of Chinese history was actually made for the Queen Long Emperor back in the 1700s and was left to the owner's grandparents as part of a family inheritance. It's the only known example of its kind, making it incredibly valuable. But exactly how valuable is this old porcelain vase? Well, bidders fought for 20 minutes at Sotheby's auction house for this chance to snap up the priceless object, and it sold for more than 20 times its estimated guide price. Yeah, this forgotten vase found in an attic actually became the most expensive Chinese item ever sold in France, selling for a staggering $20 million. Not bad for an old vase found in a shoebox in the attic, huh? Australian miners find mother load. This mine in Cambalda, Western Australia is no ordinary mine. It holds one of the biggest hauls of gold in human history. The Beta Hunt Mine was once the home of a lucrative nickel mine, but in September of 2018, a Canadian mining company hit the jackpot of a much more precious metal, gold. Yet they really struck the mother load. Miners discovered nine and a quarter ounces of high-grade gold 1,600 feet under the ground and uncovered approximately $15 million worth of it in just four days. After their announcement, stock in RNC minerals rose a shocking 94.4% and geologists called the find a once-in-a-lifetime achievement. Finding a gold nugget the size of a pebble is a big deal. So to find boulders of gold this enormous is extremely rare. It's like winning the lottery. Talk about getting lucky. <laughs> Guy finds rare action comics in wall. This super rare copy of the first ever action comics was discovered in the walls of a house in Minnesota. This legendary comic book was the first edition of an anthology that features the first appearance of Superman and has even been described as the most important comic book in the history of comic books. High praise indeed. Contractor David Gonzalez made the incredible discovery while renovating a house he had purchased for $10,000 and found the action comics books stuffed amongst the insulation of a wall. Only a hundred copies of this first edition are thought to exist in the whole world, and even fewer are in good condition. This particular copy was sold for a whopping $175,000 at auction, making it over 10 times the price of Gonzalez's actual house. Pretty amazing, right? Who knows what treasure might be lying just out of reach inside the walls of your house? Somebody pass us the sledgehammer. <laughs> The Secrets of Singer Castle. This enormous estate was nicknamed the Castle of Mysteries by the New York Times over a hundred years ago, and we can see why. Singer Castle was built in 1902 by millionaire Frederick Gilbert Bourne, who was the president of the world-famous Singer Sewing Machine Company. Constructed on Dark Island in Chippewa Bay, New York, this epic castle was a surprise for his wife and 12 children and is a staggering four stories tall with 28 rooms and many, many secrets. Singer Castle was home to underground dungeons, secret passageways, 
alleyways and tunnels, and to this day, staff are still finding mysterious features inside the historic building. One of the most famous secret passageways is located in the walls of the library, hidden behind a bookshelf, and the portrait hanging on the wall tips backwards so that Bourne could spy on guests he was entertaining. Servants are also believed to have spied on guests through grates in the hidden tunnels that ran between the dining rooms and the kitchen, and a trap door was recently found in a maid's chambers. Some people even say that the ghost of former President George H.W. Bush haunts the upstairs closet. Wow, suddenly our house seems so boring. Guy finds ancient Roman villa in England. A British rug designer was installing electricity cables in an old barn at his Wiltshire farmhouse when he made a shocking revelation. Hitting a hard surface beneath the dirt, he came across a giant 1,500-year-old Roman mosaic. What are the chances of that? The brightly colored tiles were just a small feature of what later turned out to be an extraordinary Roman villa built between 175 AD and 220 AD. Alongside the astonishing mosaic, archaeologists found a well, a bathhouse, corn, jewelry, and oyster shells imported from the coast, suggesting the family who lived in the villa would have been extremely wealthy. What an awesome discovery! Sadly, much of the magnificent Roman villa has been reburied, as the site is so extensive that even the historic England Association can't afford to fully excavate and preserve the giant complex. Pretty crazy, right? It's not every day you find an ancient Roman mansion in your backyard. Hmm. Farmer finds Terracotta Army a humble farmer was responsible for finding one of the most incredible historical sites on planet Earth. We're of course talking about the totally epic Terracotta Army. This super extravagant tomb is thought to date back to 210 BC and was built for the ancient Chinese emperor Qin Shi Huang. Hidden for thousands of years, this extraordinary crypt was discovered in 1974 and took the archaeological world by storm. Containing a huge army of 8,000 six-foot terracotta warriors, this breathtaking tomb is guarded by a deadly moat of poisonous mercury and is so fast that even archaeologists are completely overwhelmed by the sheer size of it. This ancient army of clay soldiers might just be the tip of the iceberg. Who knows what else could be buried in this mysterious ancient tomb? Ancient Roman Mosaic Discovered This incredible ancient Roman floor was found buried under the dirt of a vineyard in Italy. Located near Verona, this magnificent historical artifact is believed to date all the way back to the 3rd century, and experts have been painstakingly excavating the vineyard to try and find out exactly how extensive this huge mosaic really is. Scholars found evidence of a grand Roman villa over a century ago, but it's only in recent years that the researchers have dared to chip away at the ancient palace. Well, at least we know that the Romans would have been happy that their house was covered by a vineyard where wine was made, we just wonder what other secrets the Romans left behind across Europe. <laughs> Priceless Umbrella Stand this extraordinary porcelain jar dates back to the Ming Dynasty, but its recent owners were using it for a very ordinary purpose that may shock you. That's right, this beautiful porcelain piece was once made for a Chinese emperor, but it spent the last 50 years being used as an umbrella stand in someone's spare room. What a life this 270-year-old jar has had. This Chinese masterpiece is beautifully decorated with mountains and trees and was only revealed to be priceless historical artifact after it was discovered by a specialist in Chinese ceramics by an expert at Christie's Auction House in London. Specialists were speechless when they laid eyes upon the porcelain jar, and the owner decided to auction her old umbrella stand after learning how much it was really worth. So how much did this 270-year-old Chinese artifact sell for at auction? The answer may surprise you. This extremely glamorous umbrella stand actually fetched a whopping $20,447,642. We've got a feeling this porcelain jar's umbrella storage days are officially over. The Bar Mystery Safe this mysterious old safe was discovered by farmer Kirk Maths in his field in Barr, New York. The rusty safe came with a short note stating that whoever opened the safe could keep what was inside. This strange safe was dropped off in the field where the farmer was out of town, and it's thought to have been transported by heavy equipment. But why would anyone abandon a 600-pound safe in a random field? Well, no one really knows. Equally, no one can figure out how to actually get inside the safe and learn of its mysterious contents. Before long, the entire town knew about the odd new addition to Kirk's farm, and people showed up to the field to try and pry open the old safe with crowbars and sledgehammers, but nothing seemed to work. Now, town officials are saying that they plan to put the mystery safe in a bar town history museum, and farmer Kirk himself has even stated that he hopes that the safe can stay a mystery for just a while longer. Maybe we'll never learn what really lies behind that locked door. 
Fisherman finds huge ambergris hull. This Thai fisherman made the discovery of a lifetime when he found an enormous lump of whale vomit, otherwise known as ambergris, lying on a beach in Koh Samui. 55-year-old Jumris Taikot stumbled across this 220-pound chunk of ambergris in southern Thailand, and now experts are saying that this marine marvel could actually be the largest piece of ambergris ever discovered. Talk about getting lucky, the massive lump of whale vomit could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, as the organic substance is extremely valuable and highly sought after by perfume makers such as Chanel. This precious material smells fragrant once dried out and can also help preserve perfumes and help them bind to skin. Ambergris has even been dated back to ancient Egypt when people used whale vomit to make a scented incense. But what actually is this strange looking blob? Well, it's actually produced in the digestive system of sperm whales and can be found on the beach after it's hardened up and oxidized. It's super rare and if you do ever find a piece of it, you may as well have just hit the jackpot. Who knew whale puke could be so valuable? Sometimes being in the right place at the right time really pays off. Have you ever made a super lucky discovery like these people? You can let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.